dear students in the previous sessions you have learned in detail preparation of trading and pl account and the balance sheet for section c 14 marks problems so you have worked out in detail now here are a few questions for you to work out i'll just explain you the question work out these questions and check out how you get the answers here is a question mr mohandas keeps his books by single entry system from the following data prepared trading and pl account and balance sheet as on 31st march 2014 so they have given cash book analysis shows the follows interest charges you know how to record this one in the cash account and one in the pl account personal withdrawals 4000 nothing but drawings so drawings will be taken to cash account and adjusted in the balance sheet salary 17000 again indirect expense pl account and cash account business expenses indirect cash account and pl account payment to creditors one is cash account towards payment side by cash and the other one is creditors account then balance at bank on 31st march 2014 so closing balance is given this will go to cash account closing balance as by balance carried on and should be taken to the balance sheet similarly cash on hand as on 31st march 2014 150 is given this also is closing balance of cash that is cash in hand these two closing balances will appear in the cash account as well as in the balance sheet then receipt from debtors 50000 this will go to cash account debit side and debtors account cash sales will go to cash account debit side and this will be adjusted in the trading account further details available are so they have given opening and closing value of various assets and liabilities let us look into one by one So 1/4 2013 and 31st 31st March 2014 balances are given, which is nothing but opening and closing balances. The first item is stock. Stock opening stock 18,000, closing stock 20,000 440. So opening stock will go to opening statement of affairs and trading account. Closing stock will go to trading account and balance sheet. Next creditors opening and closing balances given as 16,000 and 11,000. So opening creditors will go to opening statement of affairs and creditors account. closing creditors will go to creditors account and balance sheet debtors opening balance 44000 closing balance 60000 so opening debtors will go to debtors account here and closing balance will also be taken to debtors account again opening balance will go to opening statement of affairs opening debtors and closing debtors will go to balance sheet next furniture 2000 2000 is given so opening and closing balance no change so opening furniture will go to opening statement of affairs and closing furniture will go to balance sheet we should see for any depreciation they have given depreciation at the rate of 5% next machinery 30000 30000 both the balances are same so there is no purchase in between so opening machinery will go to opening statement closing machinery will go to closing i mean uh, closing balance sheet there we will have to deduct the depreciation 5% is given so opening machinery should be taken to opening statement of affairs and closing machinery will go to balance sheet in the adjustments they have given provide 5% interest on mohan's capital as on 14 2013 so this interest on capital is an expenditure i have explained you this will be taken to pl account as two interest on capital so once you prepare the opening statement find out opening capital on that opening capital balance you must provide 5% as interest on capital and then this interest on capital should be added in the balance sheet at the end when you adjust the capital okay The next one is provide rupees three thousand for doubtful debts. So RDD is given. This three thousand should be taken to PL account credit side to RDD, and the same should be deducted from the closing debtors in the balance sheet. So in the balance sheet, from the closing debtors, you will have to deduct the doubtful debts and provide five percent depreciation on all the fixed assets. So there are two assets, furniture and machinery. So provide depreciation on these two machineries on the closing balance and take to the PL account the amount of depreciation. and in the balance sheet you must have to deduct this depreciation amount from the closing value of furniture and machinery so much you have to do for the given adjustments and prepare the trading and pl account and the balance sheet the next question goes like this so shriram a trader maintains his books under single entry system and he submits the following information so he is giving assets and liabilities value opening and closing so uh, first item given is cash opening balance 14 2014 20000 and 31st march 2015 closing balances a question mark we will have to find out the closing balance of cash by preparing the cash account so this opening cash is given as 20000 so 
So this will go to opening statement of affairs and cash account opening balance. Next item is debtors. Debtors opening balance seventy two five hundred, closing balance eighty thousand. So opening debtors will go to opening statement of affairs and debtors account. Closing debtors will go to debtors account and balance sheet. Creditors account opening balances is given as sixty two thousand five hundred and closing balance seventy two thousand five hundred. So opening creditors will be taken to creditors account and opening statement of affairs. Closing creditors will go to creditors account and balance sheet. Furniture twenty thousand twenty thousand. So opening furniture will go to opening statement and closing uh, furniture should go to balance sheet. We should look into for any depreciation or appreciation. Next plant and machinery forty thousand is given. Opening balance, opening statement, closing balance is thirty eight thousand. This will go to balance sheet and stock. Opening stock is thirty thousand, so this will go to opening statement of affairs and trading account. Closing stock is forty two thousand, so closing stock will go to trading account and balance sheet. It continues. So cash transactions during the year two thousand fourteen fifteen is uh, uh, they have given few items. So cash from data six lakh twenty thousand. This is received from data. This will go to cash account and data's account. Cash paid to creditors. This will go to creditors account and cash account four lakh eighty thousand wages twenty four thousand so wages is an expenditure direct expenditure this will be taken to trading account then one more will be in the cash account so wages should go to cash account and trading account salary is sixteen thousand so salaries will go to cash account and PL account rent eighteen thousand rent should be taken to cash account and PL account. Drawings sixteen thousand. So drawings will be taken to cash account and adjusted in the balance sheet at the end towards capital. Next cash purchases twenty four thousand. So cash cash purchases twenty four thousand is given. This we will have to add in the uh, trading account cash purchase plus credit purchases, and this should again appear in the cash account as by purchases. Next cash sales thirty six thousand. So we we record this in the cash account as. Two cash sales thirty six thousand, and the same cash sales should be added in the uh, trading account uh, when we take towards credit side buy sales, both cash and credit sales if it is given. But here uh, credit sales is not given, so cash sales will be the total sales. And carriage outwards ten thousand, so carriage outwards will go to PL account, and carriage outwards expenditure will go to cash account. If carriage inwards was given, it should be taken to trading account. So this carriage outwards ten thousand will be taken to cash account and Uh, PL account. Next, other details are as follows. So, bad debts three thousand two hundred is given. So, bad debts will go to debtors account and uh, PL account. So, bad debts in the debtors account we record by bad debts, and in the PL account two bad debts three thousand two hundred. Purchase returns is given six thousand two hundred. So, this will go to uh, this will be recorded in the trading account. Purchases total purchase less returns that will be taken to the uh, adjustment there. And one more place is this purchase returns will go to creditors account. So two purchase returns. Then adjustment given is stock worth rupees six hundred was utilized by Sri Ram for personal use. So this is drawings of goods. So this will be deducted in the purchases in the trading account. So trading account take purchases less returns less drawings of six hundred. And the same should be adjusted in the balance sheet at the end uh, towards liability side when we go for adjusting the capital. Uh, and prepare the final accounts for the year ending 31st March 2015 is given. So in this, this is a simple question. Work it out. And here, with regard to asset of furniture, they have given 40,000 as opening balance and 38,000 as closing balance. No adjustment is given about depreciation. So opening balance is 40,000 and closing is 38,000. Means 2,000 is reduced. This is nothing but depreciation. So this amount of depreciation should go to PL account to depreciation and the same. Closing balance of thirty eight thousand will go to balance sheet. So in the balance sheet, we should take directly the closing balance. It is as good as forty thousand minus two thousand. But whereas this depreciation amount, we take it to the PL account as an expense. So this is the adjustments with regard to Sri Ram's problem. Work out with the same calculations and keeping these points in mind. So here is one more problem for you to work out. Look into this question and work out. So we have explained in detail. You have learned the Various adjustments of entries. This is also a similar problem. Work it out with adjustments. So cash transactions are given here. See each item and make the recording of transactions. 
So adjustments are given related to Jayaram's problem. Look into these items and make the trading and PLA content balance sheet for the same.